welcome back if you're joining me for another video if you're joining me for the first time hello so um this if you've seen it on my instagram is my daughter's thrift store haul granddad took her thrifting um i had a really good haul at the markets and she saw that and she went thrifting and she blew mummy's haul out of the water <laughs> with her finds as far as i'm concerned now the only thing missing from this uh haul i believe um is there was a, in the picture there was a monster high chair here that has been taken away and she's run upstairs and put that with her monster high display if you want to see part of her display um there is a picture of a couple of the shelves um in her room on my instagram but that's gone and the rest i believe is still here so we're going to start off with firstly with this piece now um I don't know if this is Barbie or Disney or whatever it is, whatever. It has no branding on it whatsoever, but it is very, very thick, solid plastic. And it actually takes water in the bath. You then pump this tulip here, which pumps the water from here. It comes up here through the little hose and out the shower here. And you can see from the mold stains inside that it has been used for that purpose. Um, I'm gonna go give it a vinegar wash, which will get rid of all of that. It's just so well made that we thought this would look gorgeous um, with her Barbies. And she picked that out and there should be a price on it somewhere. Oh, there we are. So this cost us $2 New Zealand. So I'll have a conversion for all my pieces since I know quite a few are Americans. <laughs> And watch so you'll know what we paid so two dollars for this gorgeous large barbie doll size bath then um i'll just lean across we also grabbed this piece now obviously it seems to suggest it's a barbie kitchen and it has a button here and it has batteries that you're meant to use at the back here i haven't tested it uh because this was astra's haul um it's two dollars New Zealand as well. I tr attempted to identify it for her because she actually has a two large Barbie kitchens. So I thought I've never actually seen one like this. It seems to be for a bigger doll than Barbie. I could be a hundred percent wrong. If you know Barbie products and you know what this is, let me know in the comments below. Um, I couldn't find one on eBay, so I have no idea. Absolutely no idea what happens. Whether you press this and it makes noise or um is it a button oh that's a button too so there might be a variety of things i'm guessing a kettle or something might s sit into this little thing here i don't know it's dusty and it needs a clean but hey it's barbie so she goes crazy over barbies just not sure why she needs a third barbie kitchen but hey you know us doll lovers can we ever have enough then for mummy look what she found it's in mint condition. It's gorgeous. It's a Disney. You can see the Disney tags there. It's got all its beautiful tags. Stitch. And if you are a subscriber of mine, you will know that I love Stitch. He's my favorite Disney character. And oh my goodness, I don't actually have a Stitch this size. All my Stitches tend to be um, smaller sized. So $5 New Zealand. Get that tag into thing. Five dollars New Zealand for this gorgeous mint condition boy. He looks like someone brought him on a holiday, stuck him on a shelf for just away in a wardrobe somewhere, and he never saw the light of day because there's no sun fading on him. I love him. I love him. And she brought that for mummy. Isn't that gorgeous? I was so excited when I saw it that she, when I get excited, she gets excited. You know, the whole that whole vibe. So she got all excited that she found something for mummy. Oh, this she got for um she found for me. Now this was two dollars New Zealand uh, from the thrift store. Two dollars New Zealand. Um, it's this little realistic guitar. Now my daughter actually plays guitar and she can play out belt out some awesome tunes. Um, she's been playing since she was five years old but and it's got Bon Jovi on down here oh my god I love Bon Jovi down here and she thought this would be wonderful for my BJDs um which uh I'll print down here they're known as ball jointed dolls you can look them up if you're not sure what they are but they're realistic anime style dolls and um for the real ones you can be paying lots upon lots of money and it for accessories for them you can play 
lots and lots of money. I think you can pay like $20 for one ball jointed doll shirt if you are going for the brands, etc. So this was $2 and I thought this would be amazing because I'm actually traveling to Japan next year to pick up a smart doll in um, Tokyo. And I thought this will go wonderful because I'm building a smart doll, which reminds me of my daughter. Now I have a smart doll, realistic. Just look how realistic this is. It's got all the strings, everything, to go with my little smart doll to go like my daughter. Yay! <laughs> okay, and no haul would ever be good enough without dolls. So these dolls were $1.50 each. She got them from the same store. Of course, they're brats. Um, really good for $1.50 New Zealand for clothed brats. I think there's only two that are nudie. We'll bring them up and have a look. So the first girl is this little one here, and you can see down here, they've all got these on them. On their legs for $1.50 New Zealand each. I imagine they're dressed wrong. Some kid will have played with them, and their hair's obviously... Oops, there's a little clip. <laughs> it's a cute little clip. Obviously needs to be restyled. Bring her up and show her face. What a gorgeous doll. And Brat dolls, the way to identify them, I find is all in the eyes. <laughs> There's so many that there's there's a lot of people out there that say, oh, this is the blah 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 doll because she has this over here and this over here, and I'm like, I'm like, how do you remember this? I have so many dolls, but I'm an all over doll collector, so it can be hard. I'm I'm not a not an expert at any one, though I have a general knowledge over all. Esther really likes this one here. She needs a face clean though. I'll bring her up. You can see she needs a scrub. Now this is actually pencil. So this will actually just come off with a razor. It looks like it's pen, but it's actually just pencil. So I'm not too worried about that. She's retained her hairstyle really well. And she's a very pretty doll. Very pretty doll. Yep, doll 50. Oh, she's looking like she stuck a fork in a, in a socket, darling. He's not having a smart day. No, this boy looks like he's... um. <laughs> it looks, yeah, that, that's gonna need to be restyled. <laughs> so he was $1.50. He's got clothes on. Let's bring him up. Looks like he got a bit of an electrical shot, darling. That's all right. Very cute. They put his sticker on his arm for $1.50. Bring up this Chloe. Well, that might actually be her original dress. I don't know why someone's put a hair tie around the middle. There's nothing wrong with the dress. Interesting, and that might actually be her shoes as well. I'll bring up her face. Very pretty face. I do think Chloe and Yasmin, Chloe and Yasmin are my um, favorites when it comes to the Bratz dolls. Very nice. Oh, now this is a dress that I got in a doll haul, and I believe it was J Dolls told me that this was a Bratz dress. I think it was on, it was on a different type of doll. Was it on a Barbie? No, it wouldn't have fitted on a Barbie. It was on some other doll. I think it might have been actually a Monster High. Yes, it was in a haul I got on a Monster High, and I was going gaga over the dress. This dress is in even better condition than that dress was, and I'm going to go gaga over it. It's gorgeous. And she's got some shoes on. Those actually look like the genie Brett's shoes. I'll bring her up. I'm not an expert in any way on Brett's, so when it comes to identification, I rely on there's um, a thousand lovely dolls, I think is the site, and just what people tell me. I just like the dolls. But look at this dress. Gorgeous. And yep, she was a doll 50. Okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, my dear. Okay, so this one has weird, wow, she has boots that clip into her like a cyborg, like a robot. Meh, 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 meh. <laughs> yeah, so here she is. Those are, those are cyborg boots. I'm not sure if I like her face. Um, it's a nice face, but she looks semi like someone uh, made her the wrong cup of coffee, and she ain't too happy today, my darling. Now... Saying that though, Brett's eyes have some of the most beautiful doll eyes. I think they always look like they're flirting with their eyes. Interesting boots. They have like, this looks like she's meant to clip into something maybe. Okay, so this is probably my favorite 
out of the lot that she got. I don't know who she is. Um, she's got brunette hair with blonde streaks. And she's got beautiful grey eyes. She's got a tiny mark there, which is... Well, that's crayon, so that'll come off no problem. Um, she's got this Roxy top on, which needs to be overlocked at the top. Uh, which I like. I like this rock. I really like this Roxy top. Yeah, I really like that Roxy top. It's a nice shoes on. And yep, she was $1.52. Let's bring her up. I love her. When I say flirting with my eyes, that is flirty eyes. Uh, you know... Look at that glitter over and she's not looking at you. That was a, one of the signature things with Brett Stoll's is they're always off looking to the side rather than looking directly at you. They are loving you with their eyes. And I just noticed, she's got a little gemstone in <laughs> her belly button. Well, that'll make her easier to identify Brett's with, uh, with gemstones in their belly button. I used to have a gemstone in my belly button when I was younger and um, a bit, bit out there. I love that Rex, Roxy top. I was about to say Rexy. Roxy top. Okay, and this one was a dollar, so I'll show straight away her tag. Whoop, whoop. Come on, camera. Be my friend. Yep, there we are. So this one was a dollar. So this is obviously a little Bratz baby. It's got a little Bratz baby outfit on. Very, very cute. Why is that on her head? Ah, oh, it's cereal. <laughs> Someone said cereal over her. I thought there was a, there was a problem in her her make for a second. So a little Bratz baby. Very cute. That is cereal stuck on her. There was a big bit on it and I just took it off. It looked like um, someone's eaten some cornflakes over this darling. Missing her earrings. But other than that, very good. So the last piece is this. Now this was a bit of a mystery. Uh, a little bit of a story behind it. Um, and a reason to sometimes express, you know, when you're children, to express yourself. My daughter was going gaga over the brats she found in the store. She was with, I, I was there, but granddad had taken her thrifting shopping. This was all about her, and um, she beat me to the dolls. <laughs> and as we were talking, a lady came up to me, and she said, Oh, I just heard you and your daughter talking about the dolls. And she said... My daughter played with her dolls up to as she was 16. She was always so embarrassed about it, but um, her friends would come over and play with her and everything. But she's not weird or anything. And, and I just I just thought you might be interested in this. I found it over the other side of the store, and it looks like it could be um, like a Barbie bath or something. I said, oh, thank you so much. And I had a, an exchange with this lady. I was talking while Astra was enthusiastic over dolls, and this lady was just getting so excited because obviously her passion, she was telling me, had been baby dolls when she was younger and she was telling me in how her mother had sold her baby dolls when she was quite a bit younger she's um older now um she was older than me and um she had never forgotten the day her mother decided that she no longer had her baby baby dolls and I was telling her uh, the amount of times I've heard stories along this you know um so we brought this home this was three dollars New Zealand so when I looked at it I thought it must be a Barbie bath or something but then I saw MGA Entertainment on the back and before I've even identified any of the dolls or anything I was like this is really curious so this is actually a Bratz pool and it has like a huge big thing which is meant to come over here like a splash deck coming over here to um like a uh, barbecue sort of thing going on this is actually, um, it was listed as a hard to find rare piece. So obviously we're missing all the doodads that go off the end, but that's okay with me. It's um, a Bratz piece and it's a pool piece. So that's kind of cool and I'm excited about that. It has a little nozzle here so you can let the water go after you've filled it up. So yeah. So that was the last piece, and we didn't actually find that. No, I didn't find that. Astra did not find that. So, but I included it in Astra's haul because the lady gave it to her. Not me. She gave it to my daughter. <laughs> Since my daughter was the one enthusiastic about all these pieces. If you love thrift store, marketplace, auction place wins, please give this video a thumbs up. If you love toys in general, please subscribe. We love to open toys here and we love to share. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.